Bienvenuti! You're watching the thrift store one down where we bring Hollywood home out of budget. This is a cookbook made in good taste but bought in bad taste. This is Molto Italiano. 327 simple Italian recipes to cook at home. This stems from 10 years of Mario Batali cooking shows on Food Network. The most recognizable for me would be Molto Mario. I happen to enjoy that program very much. This is a James Beard Award winner, although with the recent news coming out about Mario, I have no doubt they might hold a hearing to strip him of his James Beard recognition. I bought this for $9.99, got it for 50% off. Photography by Beatrice DaCosta, and believe me, there are a lot of delicious photographs in here. Retail price, $34.95 US, $44.95 in Canada, and I have no doubt that this might be up for auction for some very forgiving Mario Batali fans in his homeland of Italy. Now, in light of the recent news involving Mario, I bet you he had a little too much pasta puttanesca. That's pasta made in the style of the whore, exclusively for Italian prostitutes to fuel up after they completed their assignments, so to speak. By now, you might have heard the news. Mario Batali is our first Food celebrity to be accused of sexual harassment. The latest in the Weinstein effect. Highlights from this cookbook. 67 antipasto recipes with special sections for vegetable, seafood, and meat antipasti. Informative sidebars where Mario provides background color about the recipes, including the places, people, history behind various dishes. More than 50 pasta recipes from classic comfort food like Big ziti to an elaborate ricotta gnocchi, ricotta gnocchi, with sausage and fennel. There are some other classic Italian recipes in here. Um, pasta al tiziana, spaghetti carbonara, or carbonara. There's also eggplant parmesan, and bruschetta. Unfortunately, no lasagna. I guess some Italian recipes are too, too sacred to share. But Garfield is the least of Mario's problems right now. A wealth of seafood, fowl, and meat dishes featuring simple everyday dishes and tasty regional specialties. 34 vegetable recipes that can be served as either antipasti or side dishes. And a comprehensive dessert section filled with gelati, crumbly cakes, fruit tarts, pies, and more. Let's just take a look at the dessert section here. Because if there's no tiramisu, then we're going to have big problems. 448. I mean, the guy's a douchebag now. He'll go down his history as a sexual deviant, if you're quick to judge. There's cannoli. Panettone. Olive oil and orange cake. Orange tart capri style. Chestnut cake with lemon sauce. Vanilla gelato, walnut biscotti, and a tammy sue on page 482. I guess I spoke too soon, so I'm just going to have to give it a pass on that. But there's no photograph. Well, let me tell you. If there are any more women coming forward to accuse Mario, this dude is going to be in mortal trouble. But I still like you, dude. You have a fine taste for rock and roll. If you are looking for the almost definitive Italian cookbook, this would make an excellent stocking stuffer if you are a forgiving person. I guess Anthony Bourdain does have a soft side for some Food Network celebs, few and far between. Mario Batali is a madman and a hero. Is there nothing he's not good at? Great chef, successful restaurant tour, an author, an intellectual? Host of a ridiculously informative and much too good for television TV show, aficionado of fine rock and roll, and a man of Falstaffian appetites. Now we can add sexual, verbally sexual deviant to the list. I wonder what Anthony Bourdain will have to say about that. He's getting a little candid in a book I bought called From Scratch, Inside the Food Network. That's coming up real soon, guys. And the timing's perfect considering the news about Mario. So, I wonder what Anthony will have to say about this.
But in the meantime, I say, Grazie for watching the Thrift Store Rundown, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. Ciao!